fam. Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since we did an all my animal video. Yeah. We're ready to show you everything that we got. What do we get that's new? What do we get that's old? What died? What's alive? Let's just not waste any time and get right into it. Anthony, if I push you back. Oh. oh let's go. First thing we feed every day is our fish. 165 gallon aquarium. We got a bunch of sharks, a bunch of cichlids, a bunch of this, a bunch of that. We even got a pleco that we never see, but he's still alive because Anthony said he saw him the other night. Anthony, feed our fish. So the way we like to feed our fish is we hold the frozen mysis shrimp little cubes above onto the blower and it blows all over the aquarium. The fish come and eat it. They fight, they bite our fingers, but it doesn't hurt too bad. It's fun. Hey, look at all these sharks. All right, so the plan with this 165 gallon is we're either going to move these fish into something else and get alligators, caimans, crocodiles, I don't know. We're probably gonna be pulling them out of there eventually, getting another tank for them, and then putting something else in there. Because like that's the main part of the house and I want something cool like gators. Everybody has fish, we wanna be different. We're different. Let's get to the next animal. All right guys, we're at our vision tank. Aha! This is Cupid, our... California king snake. You guys see the heart on his head? He's a California king snake we got from Will Nace, and he's now eating like a big frozen rat once a week. Cute. Does he eat this? No. What if our snake was a vegetarian? All he ate was <laughs> salad. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is Cupid. This is Rocky the boa, a Brazilian rainbow boa constrictor. Boys don't get as big as the girls. However, his pattern had like Mickey Mouse and stuff in it. We saw ears somewhere. I don't remember where they are. Where are they? As you see, they're friendly. We handle them every day. They are my favorite pets in the house. I heard you. Wait, you didn't hear me. <laughs> yes, I did. You did? Yes. Oh, give him kisses, Rocky. Give him kisses. Look down below in our store or somewhere under this video. We got new Rocky and Cupid merch. We're only gonna have this up until Animal Con. If you guys show up with it at Animal Con and open your phone and say, yeah, we're subscribed to the BZ family, we got something special for you. I, you we might let you just take Anthony home. Next up is the leopard geckos. So we got three leopard geckos. They're all girls. <laughs> I don't know. These are Rihanna's. We got Geo. We got Banana. And Rhino. And Rhino. Oh my God, I remember their names. This is Rhino. All right, so that's Rhino. The other ones are going through his shed, so we didn't want to touch them. But as you see, look at his fat. Show the tail off. Show his belly and stuff. See how fat his tail is? Ah, ah, dead, dead, Wait, what are you going to put him down? <laughs> Who cares? You think it hurts? Yeah. Anyway, so look at the fat tail, man. These guys are eating good. I remember somebody saying in a previous video that our leopard geckos look skinny. Bro, that's a fat tail. He's eating good. He's eating good. He's eating more than you. Yeah. And that's almost impossible. Oh my God. These guys get so big when we don't see them for a while. So we got three turtles. Remember we bought four in this video, but one passed away. It flipped over and they didn't care about it, so they didn't Help it. This is a red foot tortoise, and that's a red foot tortoise. This is a cherry head, I think. And that's a cherry. These guys tripled in size since we got them. Hey, how about this? I will send you a cookie if you could tell me all three names of these guys. Oh, that's really hard. I we we set them on a video. I don't even know all the three names. <laughs> he don't even know them, so if you guys could do that, I'll send you a cookie. We got some Missouri tortoise. Hey, Missouri. Hit me up, dude. I want to do like some sponsorship stuff. I, I spend so much money on Missouri. So we throw some of this in there. And today we're going to just do lettuce. Sometimes we do carrots. Sometimes we do... Oh, I got a bunch of carrots too. Today, romaine, lettuce. Animal Con, September 15th through 17th, Orlando, Florida. There's gonna be over 100 amazing creators. You don't wanna miss it. You go to AnimalConUSA.com, you get your tickets, you come there. Also, get a meet and greet with us. If you open your phone and you show that you're subscribed to the VZ family, we got a special gift for you. We'll let you pick a kid and take him home. Now we're outside. It's about to rain, we might get wet. Ew, I dare you to eat one of those dogs. Show them you're chewing it. What's it taste like? I forgot what it's called. It's like, um, I did Anthony Eats. Caviar? No. I, you've done like eight anchovies. Anthony Eats. Anchovies? Oh, yeah. It tastes like anchovies? Yeah. Good. All right, anyway. It's a weird kid. Ew. So, this is Oki. You guys remember when we got him? He's a big boy now. He is a mixed hound something. And then we got a fat pug. Fat pug. Look at your friends. 
Prince. Prince. Eat your food, Holmes. Okie eats all the food, and then Prince comes over here and tries to eat Okie's food, and they want to switch. Give me that food. Give me your food. This is our 4,000 gallon aquarium. In this aquarium, we got a bunch of catfish, some paku, some peacock bass, a couple gar, uh, some other crazy stuff. I didn't have my jaws. Oh, we had a largemouth bass in here named Jaws. Jaws, we got food for you, bro, bro. Watch this. Crazy situation happened about two weeks ago. He was literally laying out here. They don't usually jump. Nothing in there jumps. So I don't know what happened to him, but soon in a future video, we have to get another bass. Yeah. Anyway, watch how these guys eat. So we feed them a mixture of cat food, floating pellets, and then we have some sinking pellets. And then as you see down here, we got worms, a bunch of like super worms and stuff. We give these guys a super healthy diet. Need... Oh, oh! What the Bro! The Clean the camera, dude. Black on black on black. On black on black on black on black. <laughs> Welcome to the splash zone, I guess. Yeah, so that is our albino catfish. Go to this video here and maybe the one after it or figure out if we named it. I don't remember if we named it or not. Oh. If we didn't, we're gonna have to. So come and look at these catfish, guys. So we got Rod and Brandon, two catfish. One we got from Predatory Fins, Rod sent it to us. And one we got from CMP Growers, my buddy Brandon sent to us. So those are the two black ones. We got a black Taku back there who hides whenever we're here. We got two peacock bass that we caught with Monster Mike back there. And then we got a guard that we got from the Florida Boys. Water's crystal clear always. Because it's outside in the sun, it gets all this algae on it. I think we should get like a cover on the top, clean this thing out, put like some wood or something in the center. I don't know, we have a lot we can do with this. Just haven't had time, dude. It's always so busy here. All right, let's go feed the hogs. We always take care of our hogs. Yeah, guys, let's go feed these hogs. We got some leftover food. Anytime you have something left over, pizza. like pizza and... Oh. No, you can't eat that, no. We also got something going on here. We're not gonna spoil it and we're not gonna show too much of it, but we got some gardening going on. Look at that, look behind me. All right, stop looking, don't let them see. Don't let them see, that's a surprise. Guys, we have six hogs that were raised pretty much as babies. These three are big and they were bullying those three over there, so we had to separate them. And eventually we're gonna either put them somewhere else and do something else in here, or we're gonna put them all back together soon. I don't know. Have some muddy pizza, homie. You guys will be healthy and you guys get a whole bunch of lettuce. And tomatoes and fruit. Oh, bananas. So we also like to give these guys some good grains. Get about two and a half, two scoops each. Along with table scraps and the same for those guys over there. They got their shade, they got their houses. There's a bunch of crap in here. I need to clean this out. See how the chickens, they all see that we're feeding them so they run over here and try to get their food. Dude. If I was a hog, I would eat those chickens. How do these hogs not eat those chickens? I don't understand, I guess they're friends. You guys are friends? You guys remember the geese from last video? Check them out. What up guys? All 11 of them still here. All right, so that's the only one with a name. Look at his feet, how tore up they are. So we call him Cheese. But all the rest, watch how friendly they are. My geese are so friendly! We got the friendliest geese in the world! Look at this. Literally patting them. Let me get some. Let me get some. We got chickens and we got geese and we got everything in here! It's a bonanza! Okay. Whose geese you know you could just walk up and pet? Hey, hi, hi, hi. So every morning, we do a couple yeets into the water. You gotta comment down below, Anthony's the goat if he makes every single piece in the water. If one piece falls outside of the water, you gotta comment, Anthony's lame. Hey! All right, watch Anthony. I'm not saying nothing, that's on you guys. It's your decision, I don't know. So the plan for this giant pond is we are probably gonna empty this whole thing out. There's so many fish in here. There's so many tilapia and there's so much stuff in here. But anyway, we plan on emptying this whole thing out. And then you see this pipe right here? We're gonna dig one of these out to the canal 
So this pipe will have the hose water coming in and it'll fill it all up fresh. And then once it gets to a certain height, it throws that water out there. So it always stays fresh. We got our fountains going. We got our geese. Well, I can't have 11 geese right now. Hopefully we don't have 11 next time you see this pond. Right, let's go over here now and look at the chickens. This is our chicken coop. We got about 20 chickens. One rooster named Fat Smith Dog. Where's all the chickens? Got one right here. One? Yeah. So how we feed them every morning is we give them this good chicken scratch. Actually, these are pellets. I didn't get the scratch this time. And we throw it around here. Here they all come. Come on, guys. Get your stuff. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Twenty. We still got twenty. We've had them for a year. That means none of them have died. How many eggs do we get every day from these guys? That's a good question, young son. We get about a carton of eggs every single day. But remember guys, if you don't take all your eggs inside, which we need to do right now, yeah. they become babies. So then when you crack an egg, baby comes up. It's disgusting, it's happened a few times. Let's get these eggs. So yeah, our llama and our goat Merle, which we're gonna get to next, like to help us get the eggs out. Give me a golden one. What if we open it and it was a golden egg? Or a baby. Oh my God. All right, how many we got? We got Four, five. If they get this right, I'll get 100 bucks. Nine. Six. six seven. seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nah, we didn't do the other side, so you didn't get nothing right. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you get a hundred bucks if there's no more eggs. Because you said no. Bro, that's a lot of eggs. Are they hot? Oh my god, they're hot. So that's nine. Dude, 19. Where's he going? 19 eggs in one day, guys. And then he found one laying out there. Look at it. He smells it. Why does he smell it when he finds an egg? What a weird kid, dude. So he found the duck egg, because our ducks lay eggs too. Mm. Oh, you're not smell putting this. that in here. Smell this. Smell Come on, bro. All right, so now we're going to feed our goats. We got Merle, the big mountain goat. We got Kanye down here. And the reason we call him Kanye is because his girlfriend right there is Kim Godashian. We got Rob Godashian. We got Birdie the mom, and then we got Bella, the baby. Look at this. All right, you get first, Merle, you know this. So we give it to Merle. Hold on, hold on, hold on Merle, get yours. Over here. So we do that just to get him out of there, and then we come over here. Ooh. So the baby can get some. I don't want this video to be like an hour long, but if we really just like took our time and went over each animal and talked about it and it where was, they're it from. It like two hours long. A two hour video. Comment down below if you guys want us to do a two hour video talking about each animal. Like this, who's your daddy? Give me a good. Oh, I love you. Oh, I just accidentally sucked in her hair. And she's got good hair. Oh, you love me too, I know. What if she spit right in my face? Are you ready to eat? Come on, let's go eat. Anthony, get their, their feeders. Llamas, get a whole thing of llama food. Nah, it's over here, homie. And I usually put a little over here for... Whoa! What the heck are you guys doing? What are you guys doing over here? Guys, what are you doing over here? Who do these geese think they are? We feed them, so they're done eating. And then when we're over here feeding the llamas, look at they're rushing, they're rushing the goats, trying to eat the goat food. Now we're on to the pigs. We got Willow, which is the mom. Batman is the aunt. And then we got the dad right here. What's the dad's name, Bob? Rhino? He doesn't have a name. He doesn't have a name? We just call him dad? I'm not calling another animal dad, that's weird. That means he's my, his name is Rhino Face. Because he's got tusk. Now we got the five babies. Who, at one point, we had all names, but I don't think we remember them anymore. So these guys get a good four feet. You guys used to complain about us throwing food on the ground like that. So we went out, we bought a whole bunch of bins. We put them there, like that big water bin up there. We put a whole bunch of bins like that here. We had four separate ones. They jumped in them, they bit them, they destroyed them, they picked them up, they threw them out. They don't like it. They're pigs. They like dirt. They want to eat out the dirt. So our pigs eat out the dirt. The goats and the llamas primarily eat hay. That's their primary source of food. The grains that we give them is like a supplement. It's, it's actually not even needed. If I could just let these guys roam, I wouldn't feed them any grains ever. We're gonna give everybody some good old coastal hay. I think this is coastal. It's either coastal or TNA, it looks green. Anthony, taste this hay, tell me what it is. What kind is it? So as you see on the ground, this is our hay spot. What we do is, 
we pretty much break this in half and the llamas and the goats come and eat so because the llamas have free range bro you don't have to still eat it bro the video part that part of the video is done what's wrong with this guy all right so that's over here what else we got we got turtles we got turtles bro i said stop eating all the hay you don't have to eat it it was a maybe he if I could just feed you this instead of everything that you eat, this would be a cheaper life, bro. You're you're so expensive when it comes to feeding. So these are our turtles. As you see, we got that big boy bear up in here. We got this turned off our filtering system while we're recording because it's loud. This guy looks like a yellow belly. Oh, I got one. They have names. There's a red ear. That's a red ear. <laughs> what is his mouth open? Is he saying hi? That's a red ear slider. We got two babies, and I want to grab one of the babies. Oh, you're there. We got pink belly side neck babies. There he is. Get him. Pink belly side neck babies. Oh, he got big since the last time we got him. So I cracked the food up, guys, and I crack little pieces usually like this with my fingers because we use this great Zoomed turtle food, aquatic turtle food. And we pop this and I put it back here because the babies like it. Guys, hope you liked that video and the update on all of our animals. Comment down below your favorite animal or an animal that you would like to see us have on the farm eventually. And Anthony, give them some peace signs or you're doing a flip. Oh. Peace out, guys. See you on the next one.